Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube, and today we're gonna look at some stuff for Power BI Embedded because we're at the Build Conference, so stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos on Guy in a Cube. I am joined today by Ron Brewer from the Israel team who owns, you work on Power BI Embedded, right? We do. All right. and. So one of the things, we, we're at Build, and one of the things we wanted to look at are just some of the new things that have come with Power BI Embedded and things that you can take advantage of if you're looking at using the service. So, so Ron, talk to me about, like, what, what are some of the cool things that have come about lately? All right, so a um, couple of things we've added is, first of all, more uh, stuff you can embed. Uh, you can embed report visuals. You can even embed uh, uh, Q&A. Yeah. Uh, ability from Power BI itself. And we've added a couple things for Report Embed, which is our biggest offer, I guess. Uh, stuff like mobile layout, mm -hmm. uh, using custom layout, oh. um, extending the custom uh, context menu or options menu from the uh, visual themselves. And that's just some of the stuff. Yeah, that's embedded. a lot of stuff. And so one of the things we'll, we're gonna go through first is we've got the uh, Power BI Embed Sample that's available for people to kind of play with. And I know I, if you followed me for a while, you know that I've done a video on that before, but it's gone through a pretty big revamp and kind of a new facelift and, and really highlights some of the new things that are available. Do you want to walk us through like some of the things that are there? Sure. So a um, couple of things. First of all, you can see the, the new look. Uh, it's easier to look at and yeah. it's, it's uh, Looks pretty good. Nicer, yeah. The official name is the playground now. Okay. Because you can play I, around The name's with it. always been kind of a, I don't know what that was, the JavaScript embed sample. Now it's the Power yeah. BI embed sample. Now it's the playground. Okay. Yeah. Either way, it's the same thing all, all right. the time. But, or sandbox yeah. if you want. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so uh, one of the uh, first stuff, instead of, um, in addition to just the um, new stuff you can embed, we uh, chose to show in front what you can embed. So you can see that we have the sample report, dashboard, tile, and you can uh, see the new ones, which is the report visual and the Q&A. Yeah. And you can even see that it's new because you have that new. I like that, yeah. It's easily to call out of like, hey, there's something right. new in this area. So let me just go to the report because one of the things we've added, and I'm just gonna run it, uh, let it run on the sample. Um, as soon as you click the run, that interact button shows up, pops up and in yellow. And one of the first thing you see is those yellow dots yep. that uh, show that it's some kind of new the, stuff. It's the signal for like, hey, right. there's something in here. So new features that come up, and even if you look at it like a, a year from now, you'd see new features, hopefully more, but you'd see uh, new features that come up. For example, we have the visual filters uh, set and get and all those uh, data selected and mm -hmm. stuff, stuff like that. And uh, bookmarks, which is a new one um, that just came out. Uh, one of the things we wanted to show today is the extensions menu, which allows you to use um, the report inside your application and not have it look like a separate entity. You can yeah. you can even interact with stuff. I remember the first inside. time I, I, I was shown this, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, it's actually like, an extension of your application now. Right. So you can do some pretty cool things. Uh, for example, if we have just the regular, let me just scroll into view here. Yep. So if we have just, you know, a regular uh, extension menu that uh, has like C records, show right. data. This is the exclude, default context menu default that you get. Out of the box you get. Yep. So if I just were to select the extend context menu, yep. we yep. see that we can, um, here in the, so yeah, and to explain really quick, so this code block, this is the actual JavaScript that we can use for this given feature, right? Right. Each each feature has, you know, you just select it. You can see the actual code that runs, and you, here on the right, you can see the log dumps yeah. that everywhere it says log. Obviously, it logs. Right. So you can see what <laughs> what pops up. It's funny um, how that works. Yeah. So here we're gonna just extend the context menu. We're gonna just gonna say that the extension itself is called extension command, real original, and the title is gonna be <laughs> extend command. Okay. And when it's- in, And we can change that really to anything we want, You right? can that's choose just, whatever you that's want. That's just yeah. the text that's gonna show up in the context menus. So. Right, and when you see that it extends the visual context menu, not 
the options menu here on the side with the ellipses here. Right. Then a visual context menu has the title that says extend context menu, which makes it different from the extend Got it. Command. So we can extend both the, the item on the ellipse. Right, this one and or the actual context menu on the visual itself. We can right. do either one. Right, with, the, with this one, you see icons, you can give your own Base64 icon Very and it cool. just shows up. Uh, we can show it later, but uh, right now we want to uh, show the context menu, Very which cool. is more straightforward. Yep. So uh, the extend context menu, I'm just gonna hit run and you can see the log pops up. This log is just here, it says that, you know. Now the thing with context menu, it, makes it a uh, uh, better extension that you can get the actual data that you selected, mm -hmm. same as the data selected event, but now you can actually bind it to an, uh, an actual command. So okay. once we'll hit that, and I'm gonna show it real quick, this report on command triggered right. event is gonna show up, and one of the things that's gonna be in the details is the data points that were involved in that selection. Right. So basically I can have a custom context action off that menu, depends on which, uh, which data, data sets they're gonna be. So right. right now I'm gonna have that Fashions Directs one. Okay. I'm just gonna right click, and we, here we can see the Extend Context menu. Yep, that's the now, one we got added right. from the code. If I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna see right here on, on the right hand side, yep. that it pops up and we can see that the value, the value is right. you know, the 156. So this is the data that got passed with the event. Right, this is the actual data point right. from the pie chart that's called visual yep. container. Nice, so from a code perspective, I would get that, capture that event and then I can do whatever I want with it at that point. Yeah, we've seen customers use it for you know, custom actions, open like a, a service call mm -hmm. or, or you know, actions for whatever you want. Yeah, you just, yeah. You know, it's just code, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do whatever you want with it, it at be that easy. point. Yeah. Nice. All right, so so this is in the, the visual embed tool or the, the, the playground. playground. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to keep straight all the names it's gone through. Um, so uh, the one thing, and we, we talked about this earlier, is what we haven't really shown before is that this is really easy to move over into your application, right? right? So uh, just for just for getting started, it's it, we can do it fairly quickly to get it up and running in the application. And it's it's really a good sample if you want to take it even beyond, um, like the, the code's actually there. So why don't we show like how we can get this from the pl uh, sam playground sandbox over to an actual potential application? Sure. Um, so here we can see in the code, if I were to click run, the code runs on the sample. Right. If I were to click just the copy one, then what I get is whatever is written here, I can get it and copy it and combine it with my code. I'm just gonna go here to that uh, developer sample. Yeah, this is the here. developer sample we have out on GitHub. So we're using the app owns data one, uh, regular code, nothing that has been changed except for you know secret stuff yep. that yep. you use and we're not gonna show. And if I were to... I would appreciate that. <laughs> so uh, if we were to uh, go here, views, home, and we're gonna extend the uh, embed report. So right. we This is where the JavaScript's gonna live. Right, so we already know that if you've embedded more than once, you know this piece of code that says like, access token, yep. embed your uh, everything. We set the config and we just embed it and everything is okay. We'll click run. So the uh, embedded report just uh, popped up. We can see uh, the sample report that uh, exists in your group just right. for sanity check. This is the context menu we get right, right off the box. No custom stuff is there. No so custom, the show default. data, include, exclude. Right. And all's well, right? That's what so, we expect. Right, so I'm gonna shut it down. So one of the big benefits of the playground is that we can just, it's as easy as just copying and pasting code in. Right. Except one of the things we're gonna do, because it's kind of a quick report, you had mentioned to me before that like, we're gonna need to change it up a bit just from a timing perspective. So that's what we're gonna show yeah. here. So if it was a longer running report, we could just simply paste it in, but we wanna change it up to make sure we're not gonna hit any timing issues, right? Right. Okay, uh, let's do so it. Again, we have our code on yep. the clipboard, I'm yep. just gonna copy it right here and paste it right here, All sorry. Right. And now I'm gonna just gonna uh, take whatever I need here. So basically, it's anything that's related to the extension itself. So I can get this and remove this. 
So I need the event handler here for a command triggered. Right. And I'm just gonna get the extension settings here and just, you know, um, paste it into the original um, config. Okay, so we're moving those settings up to the original block. Right, which is the config everybody knows. Right. We have the settings here. Yep. I'm just gonna use extensions. Paste that in. Right, and just for fun. And this is the pattern we recommend doing, right? We just right. have the initial config. Yeah, there's usually when you want that to be dynamic for some extension or, or you know interactivity with the app itself, you'd use that update settings that we show here Got it. with the playground. But now we just want it on load, so, right. so we'll use it in just the there from the beginning. config. I'm just gonna show that it actually works by using a, a different string, All right. which is the build demo. So just a recap, we have the uh, config here. We just extended with extensions and just added the handler here. Yep. So I'm just gonna build it, run it. Awesome, so we have the same sample report and right. I, if I were to right click, Boom. I'd see that it is. build demo. And just for- I like uh, when code works. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys do too. <laughs> yeah, it happens every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. You get lucky every once in a while. So if I were to click that, I'll just get that, you know, console log, yep. which is basically the data points that we just pressed, the page it came from, the report it came from, and the actual visual it nice. came from if I were to you know, right. develop into, do like a visual embedding action or whatever. Okay. And Very cool. That's it. That's how you get code it's easy. from the playground. It's yeah. easy. All right. So that's how we can extend like context menus and stuff. Right. But we can do some cool stuff with mobile also, right? Right. Um, I talked about it. We have a, a new custom layout feature and one of the features that uh, is derived off of that is using it for mobile. So you know you know it from uh, desktop or whatever, you can use uh, reports and have them have a uh, special layout for mobile. Yeah, so you can define that there. mobile layout right. right in Power BI Desktop. Right. So it's saved with the report. It is and, and all you need to do is just, you know, let the application know, the embedded application know that it uses a mobile cool. uh, platform. So and the playground shows us how to do this, right? Right, so all you need to Sweet. do is just go into the playground. One of the uh, funny stuff that we've just added, you know, is you, you can use the desktop view or the phone view. Right. If I were to just use the phone view, everything pops up. I can see the actual phone. Very cool. Is yeah. that a Windows phone? I'm not <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it's a phone. It's a phone. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, um, and here all it's you have to see... It's Power BI phone, that's what right, it is. Right, it is. And all that's changed is that you just basically declared that the layout type is a mobile portrait. Sweet. Right, so you have a mobile portrait. That's it, that's all we've got to add. Landscape yeah. and so we can just it. switch that between the settings. Right, and it's basically just all we do here, right? No layout. Wow. And... Because the default is the main desktop layout. feature. Right, yeah. special layout, we right. have a special layout. I can That's cool. use it for you know scrolling and everything. And with that mobile experience, we have actually added like uh, events for swipe events and um, custom you know uh, double tap and stuff like that. So you can actually embed within your application. Very cool, very cool. All right. And I, that's, that's one of the things I love about embedded is that I mean, you can pretty much do anything in your application and extend Power BI to, to fit your needs, which is great. I love it. So that is a look at Power BI Embedded. What are your questions that you may have? Are you using Power BI Embedded? Were you aware of these new features or even the playground itself? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let us know. And we'll have links for the playground as well as the uh, embedded samples that we showed here. The links for that will be down in the description as well. So. That's awesome. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick, myself, and Ron, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.